Hello there and welcome to Elite Weather. My name is Mr. G, your meteorologist as we talk about your Sunday evening forecast as well as the next few days ahead as we take a quick look at that forecast. And as we talk about your weather today, let's take a look at what's going on out there across America as far as the radar is concerned. And here is our radar mosaic for this afternoon. And we see this line of showers and storms here through parts of the Midwest and over into the Central plains so we're seeing these scattered showers and thunderstorms that are also moving over into parts of the northeast and into New England as well up there towards southern Canada and then more showers and storms along the Gulf Coast into parts of Texas as well as the state of Florida and into part portions of the southeast there in the mid-Atlantic states we're seeing more showers and storms and we have our monsoons that are really firing it off this afternoon through the four corners so we have Colorado and New Mexico, Arizona, and Utah that are really seeing those showers and thunderstorms out there as well as some flash flooding issues as well and more showers and storms are going to be had up there in parts of Montana as well as a lot of folks are seeing some much needed rainfall for your Sunday evening here and now as we take a look at our lightning strikes here is our lightning map and we're seeing lots of lightning out there across the Gulf Coast and the Southeast and the state of Florida as usual, which is the lightning capital of, the, of America. So we're seeing a lot of that lightning along the Southeast and as well as our Northeastern storms and across the Midwest here, some lightning strikes as well. But most of this is predominantly just regular rainfall. There are a few embedded thunderstorms in there. But we're really seeing a lot of lightning out here through the four corners with our monsoons and we're seeing those thunderstorms really out there firing off with a lot of lightning as well into parts of Montana and the uh, high plains and the front range of the Rockies this afternoon. And here is our weather advisories in place right now so a lot of heat issues out there today we're seeing our heat advisory in effect through parts of the southern the southern mississippi valley and the plains today as well as into the ohio valley the northeast we have a heat advisory here's a severe thunderstorm watching parts of the northeast as well through upstate new york and pennsylvania we have a severe thunderstorm watching in place we have flash flooding issues down here across the desert southwest in Arizona so this is a flooding a flood watch here more flood watches in place here heat advisories through the Pacific Northwest we also have a heat uh, this is really for the future, not necessarily today, because there is a potential there for triple digit heat as we move through the course of this upcoming week through parts of the Pacific Northwest. So a lot of heat issues uh, uh, on the map today. So let's take a look at our severe weather situation. And here is our mosaic of our severe weather overlays here. Here's what we expect today, areas to have severe weather over top of our radar here. So we see that severe weather through parts of the northeast today where we have that slight risk. And there's also an enhanced risk for some severe thunderstorms through this region here, through parts of the northeast. And we're going to be seeing those thunderstorms produce those winds in excess of 70 miles per hour, some large hail, and maybe an isolated tornado in this region today as well. And we're going to be seeing that severe weather down through the Ohio Valley into the Tennessee Valley, as well as into parts of the high plains today. We're going to be seeing the potential for some isolated severe weather, although there's not too much going on just yet. But if we just wait, maybe those showers will fire off this afternoon and then another margin rest for some severe weather here through parts of the southern deserts of Arizona today as well. Tomorrow our severe weather threat moves primarily into the northeast as our weather system moves over to the east as well. So we're going to be seeing that severe weather with us with that wind and hail and dust with and, and damaging uh, our damaging winds, our hail, and our uh, potential for isolated tornado as well into the parts of the northeast. Some isolated severe down through the mid-Atlantic states and the Tennessee Valley. And we can see a few more isolated severe here 
through the high plain states and that'll be it for as far as severe weather is for Monday is concerned and then for your Tuesday some isolated severe weather possible through the mid-Atlantic states and the parts of the mid Midwest and the central Appalachian Mountains tomorrow on your Tuesday so not a whole lot as far as severe just some isolated severe through parts of the central the mid-Atlantic states for your Tuesday and here is our three-day weather forecast and for this afternoon we're going to be seeing that uh, those issues with flash floods through the four corners in the southwest into parts of Colorado and New Mexico as well as some of those monsoons storms can produce some very heavy rainfall so we'll be seeing that and that severe weather here through parts of the Ohio Valley and into the northeast particular of the interior portions of the northeast today where we could be seeing that severe weather and that hail large hail some uh, damaging wind heavy rain and a isolated tornado is going to also be uh, possible in that region some showers and storms will keep occurring across the southeast down through the state of Florida and across the Gulf Coast of course and through the Midwest and the High Plains states and the Northern Rockies where we could be seeing some more of those showers and storms that we're seeing across Montana today and in our four corners monsoons that's going to be leading to those flash flooding issues this afternoon and lovely weather across the West Coast for now but it's going to start to get hot across the Pacific Northwest as we move through this upcoming week. But for right now, it's okay today. A little bit on the warm side, but not as hot as it's going to get later this week. But for right now, it's going to be dry across the West Coast. And as we take a look at your Monday, we have those monsoons that's going to re really be on the increase through the desert southwest here. As we have a couple of uh, upper level disturbances that's kind of mixing in here. So it's kind of influencing the environment and increasing the moisture and increasing that likelihood that we're going to be seeing those thunderstorms across the desert southwest down there. And they're going to be leading to some severe storms as well as some flash flooding It's going to be possible across the south west tomorrow and some more flooding that's going to be possible through parts of the midwest and the Appalachian Mountains as well and in the northeast where we're going to be seeing that severe weather for tomorrow and that heat is going to continue across the state of Texas and Oklahoma and through parts of Arkansas and Louisiana as well those triple digit temperatures will continue and it's going to start to heat up across the Pacific Northwest and the northern Rockies, particularly the interior portions of Washington and Oregon, and it's going to remain hot across the state of California. And you'll start to see some monsoons across the mountains and deserts of Southern California as well tomorrow. And uh, for your Tuesday, we're going to be seeing more of the way of those monsoons across the four corners in the desert southwest as those tropical as those sort of tropical disturbances that's kind of embedded in, in all the activity down there is going to enhance the monsoons so we're going to definitely be seeing an increase in the amount of thunderstorms so the heavy rain and maybe some severe storms could also be possible and those showers and storms are going to continue all the way into the northern plains into the pacific into the uh into northern minnesota ahead of this frontal boundary that's going to be moving to the east so it's going to really start to increase the amount of showers and storms that we're seeing through the great lakes and the upper mississippi valley for your tuesday and we'll see more rain sh sh showers and storms that's going to lead to some flash flooding through the appalachians and the southern ohio valley for your tuesday more showers and storms for the interior portions of Dixieland and portions of the Gulf Coast, especially towards Louisiana and Texas, down to about the Houston area, where we're going to be seeing some showers and storms for your Tuesday. And we're going to dry out for the Northeast, and we're going to be dry for the High Plains and into the Pacific Northwest. But it will be starting to get hot in this region as high pressure starts to take control over there and really increase those temperatures. So that is a look at the weather forecast for the next few days. My name is Mr. G. Thanks for watching and I hope you guys are able to stay cool out there and stay safe if you are dealing with any severe weather. All right. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.